guys, welcome to episode 101. Here we go again. Take two. <laughs> Take two. We got um, Brian Hare here. Yep. Drea Boland. Hey, hey. Justin Scott. Still here. Christina Cavalcanti. Thad Boland. And uh, we're here with episode 101. Again, I'm excited that we uh, we had our 100th episode last week. It was a lot of fun. We gave away a lot of stuff. So thank you to all of the sponsors and people uh, that that chimed in. We we've been Christina has been mailing out prizes uh, throughout the last couple of days. So everybody that won, it's on its way. It was a little overwhelming at first because we had a lot of people emailing in saying they won stuff. So a few people haven't given their um. Yeah. Info either. Yeah, yeah. So we're still waiting on some emails. We need. Uh, if you won last week, go it, watch the episode to see if you didn't win. <laughs> yeah. Or if you did win. Yeah. Yes. So uh, and that's pretty much that. But uh, summed up 100. We have our two-year anniversary show coming up in three more shows. So uh, that should that's be so fun. Halloween show. Um, and. Uh, <laughs> So and to, so today we got some cool things with trending tresses. Yeah. We have some news with Justin. Yeah, uh, Brian's d- dug up some social questions and uh, different things like that. So we have some great questions, I think, uh, this week to we go do. through and answer. Um, and then we're going to spin the wheel. So show like normal. So let's get the show started. Let's kick off the news with uh, Justin. Hey, that's me. Awesome. I can't tell if my segment's starting. I don't know if the sound's on. I don't know what's happening right now. And now, now, hair industry news from Justin Scott. Okay, it's my turn now. <laughs> he gave me the signal. I got the signal. That was the bat wing. I told that to give me like a seagull flop. That's not the bat when... wing. That's the bat wing. <laughs> I told him to give me like a seagull fly away. That's a bat wing. my turn. Well, I have no nothing to flap, but they call that the bat wing. Okay. The bus driver arm. Yeah. Oh, She's yeah. right. Well, that She's right. Too. <laughs> um, well, Ew, that's gross. I'm I didn't know this. Today. Hey, Thad, you want to bring up uh, oh, waiting, the yeah. heated laser? We're all about education here. Pew, pew. All lasers. Right. Uh, I thought this was a really cool article. Um, it's a laser razor. Laser razor. Laser, oh. laser razor. Razor. Okay. And uh, it runs on AAA batteries. It's supposed to last for... Um, 50,000 hours of shaving satisfaction. Um, <laughs> Is this real? Yeah. Apparently, uh, Sh- Scarp Technologies has developed a razor. But I didn't think they, like, I didn't think actual damage-causing lasers were, you know, for the mass market yet. Um, apparently, it's going to be coming out next year. It costs uh, $189. They don't even have laser guns yet. I don't want to shave my face with one. I want to shoot lasers. Um, yeah, no, they say... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I okay. want it to be real. I just don't see how. Well, it could be, It could just be like... a. Re- they have the other ones, like the, the No-Nos or whatever that uses heat and lasers. That's, that's uh, like... Uh, it, that like plucks. Yeah. <laughs> no, one of them uses heat to like melt away it the hair. It does heat things, but it doesn't... Well, this could be heating and cutting because that's what everything I've seen about it, it does. Okay. So it seemed kind of cool. Um, we'll, I hope we'll, it's real. I me want too. It. I would email them when it comes out and have them give us one for free. Hey, anything that will take the fact that shaving is no fun and make it a little easier yeah, and I can feel better. like a Jedi in doing yeah. it. Hell yeah. yeah. Just don't let a stormtrooper use it because they'll miss all the hairs. <laughs> that was possibly <laughs> the funniest bad. thing you've ever said, Dad. <laughs> um, all right. And I feel like since it is uh, getting chillier out there and I'm seeing all these Netflix and chill things, I found this on like my uh, trending page. By uh, hair by Yelm, it was Olaplex and chill. <laughs> okay. So I felt that was just something fun to look at. That's funny. You said Olaplex and chill. Olaplex and chill. Is that on there? Dot 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 question mark. What's the whole thing with Netflix and chill? It's, it's, it's an activity now. It's an act. <laughs> it's become like a meme for like you Let's, say let's Netflix and chill, but really it's just a booty call. Yeah, you're just gonna come over and get naked. Oh, all right. Man. Oh, we're that's uh, the we're was. way out of the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You've you have a kid, so you don't need to know about that stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You don't need Netflix and chill. In, in, in other words, it's the morning meeting. Yeah, I was going to say to get there. Thank you. The morning meeting is Netflix and chill for the Got rest it. of us. Got it. <laughs> and then we brought back the I brought back this week, uh, finding some really fun hair to feature because I was kind of bummed I haven't been able to do that for the past few weeks. First one I'm gonna I want to look at is a uh, Macaish. Macaish. XO. There it is. Oh, that's awesome. Right? Mm. Tell yep. me about what, what they're doing because I can't read the uh, the names. It's 
The dark rooted blonde to the unicorn colors. Nope. Bob. There we go. One job. Um, this is just freaking awesome that they lifted all of that hair, which you can tell just by looking at her and her hair is just something that doesn't look like it's going to lift that happy and got such soft pastels out of it with having hair there still. Yeah, and the hair looks like a good condition. So. Yeah. yeah, the ends don't look all fried and ready. And that's a, that's a lot of problems I'm seeing with people like who are using our hashtag or or trying to reach out to us is that like they're not finishing the 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 hair where the ends look super damaged and beat up where they could have trimmed them or they didn't use a proper product when they were using or they they lighten it and damage it even more in the after rather than the before so it's nice to see somebody get the but we still love them for trying of course keep it up but i mean this was just you know super fun to look at what else we got there we're gonna go with the the three photo one lisa loves balayage we got that one Got that. Right. Lisa loves some balayage, and that's just super, a really good, clean balayage. Uh, for what she started that. with to her end result was really nice. Does Agreed. Brian love balayage? I do. I love that. I think it looks really good. Brian hearts balayage. Brian hearts all the balayage. What do you think, Dre? I like it. I like the um, the really pretty buttery blonde at the ends. I like that it's a little darker up towards the top. Just really soft and natural. You call that buttery? Yeah. I just think of yellow when I think of buttery. Really? Yeah, but have I, you actually looked at a stick of butter? It's not really that yellow. Have you it's kind of yellow. It's, it's, have you what the hell butter are you eating? Butter. Butter's yellow. <laughs> have you had a deep... I can't deep believe it's not butter. I, I it's super totally yellow. know what you are talking about. Butter is not yellow. Butter really yeah. isn't yellow. Butter like is, a butter stick is yeah. not yellow. It comes Maybe from, margarine When you melt it, it is. It, I can't nope. believe it's not butter. It's a yellow container. Yes, it is. And yellow product. It's also not... Thank you, like Christina. Butter. I'm right. Yeah, no, I think I, of like a I'm butter cookie, with you. like that shade, the this buttery, is, this is a, creamy. This is a butter union. I just whenever, <laughs> I just feel like whenever anyone in the history of the word butter has talked about something being buttery, they were referring to it as being yellowish. I remember when. Uh, Fair enough. Thad, you're but, not getting no. a word on this conversation, no, 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 so let's I, just keep going. I remember when um, Aaron Carter had that like really crazy yellow hair. My little brother was maybe five, and he called him a butterhead. Okay, Thad. I don't Thad. remember anything Can you turn about your Aaron microphone Carter. Off? I'm really <laughs> glad you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, away from the butter. Okay. Um, that's a fran- that's, that's fantastic balayage, Lisa. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Elliot. Beard. Huh? Beard or fade? Uh, fade with a V thing in the back. Yeah. I think it's fun that he outlined it. And that's it. it. I mean, he took a great photo of the haircut. Like, you know the top looks really cool, but this is featuring that, like, really clean outline of the top area with a really nice fade too um a lot of photos again they don't they, it could be a beautiful haircut but they're not taking a good photo of like the best angle that they could have or they have 12 angles and none of them look great when they have a great haircut they're just not showcasing it the right way i think this is a fantastic photo and it's a side by side and you know how i feel about those and i still like this i so it was a really cool cut that can we do that to your beard we do that? Just like V the beard? Oh, I, I think you wanted off. to go to the bearded uh, photo. So you're on the beard photo now. We're on the beard photo now. Thanks, Thad. Yep, you're welcome. All right. We're Taylor fade, because uh... Thad decided it was time. Uh, <laughs> it's a really clean, really clean skin fade. He blended it really nice into uh, the actual beard itself. It was a really clean taper both ways. Um, and that's a thick head of hair, too. So hair like that, usually you see every line. So the fact that he has like a really seamless fade was just showing he put like a lot of work into that. Well, I like how it goes straight into the beard where he faded the beard so that it almost mirror it's a mirror image a little bit on on there. Yeah, no. Yeah, it was a really clean taper. And I like that if you look at the mustache, it has a little handlebar mm-hmm. thing going on. You probably use like a nice good pomade for that one. And the last one was actually the photo that I saw this and I had to use it. Uh, Matt used it on our page, but it was just such a fun hairstyle I had to. Is uh, Andre? Who's watching? Yeah, Hi, like, Andre. Tell him hello. I like this because it showed every angle you and it also it was really clean. <laughs> uh, and even the background, even though it's showing the salon, it doesn't. It looks nice. Yeah, it it's looks not really overbearing. Clean. Yeah, I like that a lot. Like he didn't blur anything, and my focus was still every image, the haircut. Yeah. And she's smiling in every one of them. I hate when people take photos, or even my guests. They sit there like it's a mug. I'm like, you can be happy. You like this, right? Yeah, no. So that was a, a beautiful, beautiful after photo. Yeah. That was most of my news today. Oh, Wait, sweet. I had a news piece, the one I found today, that this made me good so happy. 
Uh, it was Christina Hendricks's Claro ad banned for being misleading. And it was just a super short little thing that I read that made me really happy. The Advertising Standards Authority has claimed another victim. Uh, this time it's Clairol's Nice and Easy. The commercial featuring Christina Hendricks going from her signature red hair to a bright golden blonde. The ASA, the ASA investigated the ad suggesting that it's possible to go from red to blonde with only one step, and the investigation prompted the brand to admit that the commercial was actually filmed in reverse. So after they did some checking it out, the ASA concluded that because this ad is misleadingly exaggerated the capability of the product, the commercial is now banned in the UK. Nice. That's Amazing. awesome. I wish they would do that Another here. box color taken down. And uh, I just got a text message. My mom is finally watching us live, and so is my grandma. Oh, there you hi go. Guys. Hi. What up, ladies? She's like, it's funny watching you guys just sit around staring at your phones. So I don't know if that was <laughs> like while we were waiting for the thing to work or something when it came back on, but... Yeah, I would say, or it is us right now. Or it's right now. Yeah, and uh, I'm reading off my phone. So I have. We're all sta- we're all literally staring. At yeah, phone. just so everyone knows, we're seeing all the pictures through yeah. this. What's on? Because now that we're all iPhoned, we all get the Isn't pictures. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I'm still waiting on my watch. <laughs> yeah, because we can't see the images that you guys are seeing. Um, they're over there on the computer, so on the, we on the fat we area. are s- seeing them through the phone. I can yeah. always uh, just all like, right. describe them. So uh, that's my news. Oh, <laughs> and I just want to say, uh, I'm gonna do this. Happy birthday, my girlfriend, Lori. Oh. It's a birthday today. Oh, Whoa. Happy birthday. Oh, that's so sweet. Happy so, birthday. Happy birthday. So we, um, happy all birthday. right, so <laughs> there was. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking at the picture. Um. So, all right, so we have trending tresses. Yeah. Dre's got some interesting stuff. I, I saw the pictures come through, and I yeah, just. I was really confused. Was I confused and started laughing. It's, it's um, comical so, as to what this trending tresses episode is going to be. All right, Actually, Dad, so let's get into the trending the tresses. Trend? I got a story about Maryland. Get the 411 on celebrity hair changes. Here's Trending Tresses with Drea Boland. All right, so first off, we all loved him, uh, Zach Morris. And recently in a... Uh, I was, still love him. I know, I still yeah. love him too. But uh, in an interview with uh, Jimmy Fallon... He has admitted that the blonde hair from the Zach Morris days was indeed fake. <laughs> this is apparently shocking to some wow. people. <laughs> Which is so no. funny because he hasn't been blonde since the show. And you can just look at it and see right. that it's just foiled where it's long and dark where the it's short. The funny part about this is probably the way you just said cap, that. It was like probably frosted. Yeah, right? Then. Well, the, all probably. of the long stuff was blonde. And every like in the summer episodes, they put like an actual base color on him to make it all a little bit lighter. But usually it was just the long yeah. stuff on top was like rooted it wasn't even all the way blonde the way telling me this and i'm like yeah the way you just said that reminded me of uh, veronica corningstone from anchorman how she would possibly say (laughs) and his blonde was not real (laughs) but uh when i when i I was i'm just i just thought it was hilarious that this is like getting news now news as attention that just means that there's nothing else going on that oh i like franklin and bash what that's over that show now i never watched it uh, shut that off like pretty Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah. It's when I was in a uh, when I was in Ocean City, I went to one of the bars down there, and the bouncer like looked at me like twelve times over. My ID has like blonde hair in it. You see my license, and he tells me to take my hat off. <laughs> he goes, "Yo, you like that? You like that skinny white boy with the blonde hair from uh, Saved by the Bell?" Because I had like the, <laughs> had the streaks in it, and like this guy was huge. He opens the door, and there's like a a very quaint little bar, like it was a restaurant type thing, and he's like, "Hey." Hey, guy, come here, look at this. Does he look like I'm saved by the bell? The entire <laughs> bar stops and looks at me. I'm just like, mm. I guess I can, can kind I have of my see wristband it. now? I mean, you, ha- you guys have the same head shape. <laughs> we do, yeah. It's it's the blonde. Well, you have a little front, bit of fake blonde. But yeah. apparently, I'm getting. <laughs> that brought him back to 96, and I was out on a date with Kelly. Wow. You know, wow. on the town. Yeah. But yeah. Nice there, job. Oh, where, where, where's that Screech guy? Screech, she's in jail for stabbing someone. <laughs> And there was something else too, Man, right? You are yeah. Up screech. So up next, <laughs> uh, one of our followers, Nine Morrison, actually shared this with me um, nine hours ago that uh, she has found uh, the hairdresser that does uh, Kylie Jenner's wigs. So I thought that was fun. Is this the Instagram uh, uh, picture? Yeah. Is it the Tokyo same person Styles. that does Kesha's wigs that we found before, or is it a different person? It's Tokyo I, Styles. Can we hunt her down, lock her in the basement, and make her make wigs for free salon education? Uh, it's a heat. It's a heat. Oh. Can we lock him in the basement it's a heat. and make him make I wigs think, for us I to sell it, on our website? I think you're right, Christina. I think it is the same. Same one. 
same person. That's but, cool. Uh, you should check out his work because it's absolutely fantastic. Some of these images and styles. So. And we still think he should start making wigs. Like, yeah. yeah. And s- sell them wigs. and sell yeah, them only wigs. through us. Affordable wigs that we'll yeah. sell in our shop. Yeah. Shop FSC <laughs> and nowhere else. <laughs> All right. Well, no Amazon here. All right. And that's it. That's the trust. Hey, that's the trust. Good them. job. Proud of you. The show's just going. Give me a high we're, five. We're getting me, through it. Don't worry. I'm yeah, about to put the brakes on real quick. <laughs> we got lots to you say. Got, All right. So let's I get into, we do have a lot of questions to go through. So let's hit FSC social. FSC social. What's happening on FSC social media? FSC social media. Submit your questions to Brian Hare on our Facebook community. Or by using the hashtag Free Salon Education. Free Salon Education. Gross. <laughs> That's having a seizure. All right. So I went back to, I've got questions from everywhere. Uh, the first one I had somebody ask on the episode right here that I thought was worth actually asking around. Um, it was about, uh, Jose was asking on the website, the Mizutani Ichinino san scissor set. Yeah. You know of which I speak. Mm-hmm. Are any of those good for scissor over comb, or do you recommend using a different scissor for that? No, I think you can. Uh, well, if, it depends on... Uh, you could use two of the scissors, both of them. There's a dry cutting scissor, which is the the number two scissor, and then the number one could be great for scissor over comb as well. I mean, they both work great. Now, the dry cutting scissor, I don't prefer scissor over comb that way, but I know Justin, I know Thad, I think even Drea, when you guys are doing scissor over comb, do you use your puffin or no? No, I don't use my okay, puffin. Okay, but you like it. I love the puffin for that. I also like the DB20, no okay. matter what size they are. Okay, and then Thad, you use the puffin for scissor over comb? Uh, not all the time, but yes. Okay, and I have uh, like Justin, I like the DB twenty, and then I also like our uh, free salon education. Uh, okay, say version. So two maybe is a scissor over comb. So maybe I'm. I like my swift. Thinking prior to DB twenty, you were using puffin. Yeah, the the puffins are are great for it, uh, but again, like like maybe if I had a longer version of the puffins. Right. Um. But. Okay. All right. Cool. So. Good talk. My big thing would be pick a little bit longer, maybe a six inch uh, number one. And then I would still stick with, um, I don't think you need a super long dry cutting scissors. So I would stick with, you know, the five and a half, six inch puffin, or not puffin, but um, number two, which is the similar dry cutting scissor. That's what I would go with because um, you would probably do your scissor over comb with the number one and then more of your point cutting and layering and all of that with the with the uh, dry cutting scissors. So the set is great for that. And you get the two texture scissors as well. Um, so I think it's a good deal for all that stuff. And it's it's like a $1,800 set for like 1200 bucks or something. That's so nice. Yeah. Loves it. Um, all right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Feel and good. then someone else asked uh, what happened to the beard. And it's actually kind of funny. I was telling them earlier. I went to go just trim it a little bit, and it was my first time ever trying to trim my beard, and I didn't lock the guard enough, so as soon as I touched it to my face, it slammed all the way down and left a big bald patch up my cheek, and for like a split second, I looked at it, and I was like, can I get away with this? <laughs> and I was like, no, I have a huge bald patch like in the middle of my face, so beard's yeah. gone for now, but I'll, I'll, I'll bring it back. It's going to yeah. hold his breath. I spent all this money out. on like beard taking care of yeah i was gonna stuff, say it's so. too bad we can't watch you brush your beard Shut up. throughout the day so good i feel i i've apologized to thad so many times over <laughs> for making his fun of it yeah because it's like gross when he goes to town on his beard but now i get it yeah. that i want to make a i just want to make a statement that had me flat iron his beard earlier yeah, and then he was, he was round brushing his beard. And flat ironing his beard all yeah, day yeah yeah is that flat ironed no this is round brush the flat ironing did not it really didn't do much and then he's like, "Let me go out. I got a, I got a video of it. It's fine. If everyone sees my uh, why was this my, not... my Snapchat? You can go to my story and you can watch that. That beard looks things. exactly like it does every day that I see. <laughs> exactly. Him. I think we should super right silk it around here. Yes, let's super silk your beard. This is where people, a lot of people are like asking questions. How do I get more clients? How am I successful? <laughs> Don't flat iron your beard all day. And <laughs> nobody was here. Don't worry. That's what I'm saying. I'm just kidding, Thad. It doesn't oh, look any is. different, though. It did. All right. And then just a, a, a nice <laughs> the little... The humidity. The humidity yeah. To it. <laughs> yeah. We had a nice little something on here that I just wanted to shout out there. Uh, Monkahunk1 
on last week's episode said, OMG, love that kid, and he has awesome style. Love all of y'all. Big shout out to the mom, Christina, who's behind the cam, because I know you are probably working your butt off, too. We appreciate you. We appreciate you, too, Christina. That's really sweet. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) You are working your butt off. All right. Uh... I don't. I can't read this entire thing. I can't believe I that. That feels like way longer than a week ago. I know, right? Right. Like that Hayden was here, and yep. I think he it's because I was gone for week. four days. <laughs> he can't be here every week. That was. Uh, he was. Yeah. Now he's sick. Yeah, he is sick. Because now. we got him sick. No, he just was up late that week, and. Oh, I got you. Like I feel like when he's up late and he doesn't get his rest, his immune system like yeah. takes a toll, mm-hmm. and he was playing football in the rain that week. I'm That's sure that didn't yeah. help. So. Yeah, intense. If it was summer, he could be here. Yeah. So summertime. All right. We'll get him on a summer show. We'll we'll, we'll let him know that you said in the summertime he'll be here. We'll make some guest appearances maybe during the holidays. Dress him up for Halloween. (laughs) Can (laughs) I dress him as an elf? (laughs) (laughs) When we do our Christmas giveaway. Totally. Yeah. All right. As long as you're Mrs. Claus straight up. (laughs) Totes. All right. Uh, I'll be an elf too. (laughs) Michelle Broody had said something about wanting a video with like a cool cut and having some fun with pastels and all that stuff. And it like one, I wanted to say we do have one video like that. I don't remember what we called it. I don't know if it was an undercut Bob or what, where I did the blue to purple. Yeah, I think we pink. did it. Yeah, an undercut with. It was a little further back, but you can find it because it was a cool like color melting technique with really fun colors. Uh, plus also. That's cool. Whatever you want to see, let me know because we're I was filming say, more there's now. There's also that really fun um, one that you and Matt did together with the Violet Roots. Yeah. That Long goes way time. back. The black and white one where I just did a quick color. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> quick oh, platinum yeah, card. Yeah. yeah. Just, just Seven real hours quick. later. Sometimes the trick is if you need to make some adjustments, you just make it black and white. Yeah. And then, yeah uh, that six and a half <laughs> hours of work that I took for my, my day. It's fine. Hey. Uh, <laughs> we have to do what we have to do. All right. Then somebody asked a question about that I've had happen to me before, so I did want to answer it. Uh, Lorraine Morrison asked on our Facebook, what's it called? The FSC Social the on community. Facebook. Yeah. The community. Our free slant education Facebook. <laughs> well, not the normal one. It's the community one. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, They had asked, basically, when you use one type of color and a client comes in and insists that you use another type of color, what do you do? I have had that, and I broke it down and told them. Because I worked in a salon that sort of brought in a second line that I had never used. I didn't need to learn how to use it because I was fine with what I was using. And somebody who had just heard from a girlfriend that this was the best color, you have to use this. And I said to her you're paying me for my expertise and my expertise is not in that color. Like me pulling something off of that shelf is a shot in the dark. I can give you what you're looking for, but I need you to trust me to use what I know how to use. Like this is the tool that I guarantee I can get you where you want to go. If you insist on that color being used, I'd be more than happy to put you with one of the other stylists that's more comfortable with that color. And then they kind of feel like an ass and then they back off and let me do what I want to do. Or what I need to do, I should say. Yeah, I mean, or, or like, and if it, you don't have that same situation, but you have a client that comes in and says, I want this color on me. Can you put this on me or whatever? Because we've had that oh, yeah. we still got situation. That. Yeah, you did. But I mean, yeah. that I would just say that that's against salon policy and just yeah. leave it. I yeah, mean, you're not blame the owner as much as you can. It's yeah, yeah. No, I'll sit there and tell you, yeah. for all I know, that's narrowing that tube. I'm not going yeah. Well, yeah, not just that, that, but you can tell them it's it's not against the insurance. That woman came in with her her own tubes of color and was like, I want you to color my hair that way. For insurance reasons, I cannot do that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Sorry. Not going to happen. Yeah. I mean, it's just how it is. And the last one, I don't, well, the last one from Facebook. Um, Somebody had asked, Livia had asked, she's in the Netherlands, can't find Pravana colors in Europe. Do you need to be a hairdresser to buy them in the U.S. or can I find them online? I don't mean to call out Pravana, but I'm gonna, because I've always found it just on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. Like, I don't know if they are intending for that to be as accessible as it is, but that's the easiest place I've ever found but it. But what I will say to you, email us, ask us in two weeks or three weeks or so, because I'm in talks with Pravana, so I'll find out more information directly from them for you if they're going to be bringing it to your neck of the woods. In the Netherlands? Sure. 
fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I would think. I mean, Pravana, there is got there's got to be a distributor somewhere. Yeah. I was gonna say. I mean, it's not like it's just here. Even so. if she wants to directly contact Pravana, if you go on their website, yeah, that's it has what all I their do. contact information. They're really good about getting back to you about yeah. that stuff. So, yeah, cool. give them a shout. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Then going to the Instagram, there's some good business ones that I think Matt's gonna house. Uh, here's one, Justin. This is more of like a. I know we haven't done this video, but you have an interest. Okay. The Hollywood shaved head haircut video. It's very short with just shears and a razor, like the buzz head, but just doing like scissor over comb, comb instead yeah. of actual clippers. Why did... are, we, are we asking when we're gonna make one? Are you going like? Oh which... yeah, it's in it's in the works. It's on my list of videos I want to make. I'm confused just... on what it, uh, what it is. When you so do a skin a... fade with just shears, in yeah, the but I don't clusters. think it's skin fade. They're saying Hollywood. I don't something. know. Well, no, Hollywood's is uh, like maybe they're talking about the Hollywood's barbershop okay. out in California because I know that's a very popular barbershop and they. They, I, everything I've ever seen come out of any of their shops. They're very, very skilled. Like, do they know, have barbers. a video about this, or I'll Google are it. we just seeing pictures? I mean, it just sounds like they're asking us to do like that style of scissor over comb work to a skin fade, okay. or a very, very short tapered cut. So, right. if you'd like to clarify, we can talk about yeah. it more. That's Jim Twenty One E. Yeah, Gym definitely. Keep an eye out for that. Video ideas are great. So, if you guys have anything and you're watching this show and you want to post them, put them in the comments in the bottom. Uh, yeah. Or tag us on Instagram or whatever. If you see a cut that you like and you want to see a video on it, then just tag us on Instagram and we can see what the cut is like. Yeah, you know, and and go from there. Because or it's direct message better. any of us because we all have Instagram. Right. Yeah. So feel free. Cool. Get creepy. Uh, Christy Deer asked the podcast doesn't show up in the app anymore. It was replaced with Matt Beck's show, which I'm not complaining about. Haha, <laughs> I love both. I don't know. It's the podcast, the the audio version. Oh, so it's just the audio. Yeah, that's okay. the just audio version, either on our app or iTunes. Um, I didn't keep up with this show as a audio podcast. It's just because it's recorded live. It's not that. It's not as easy. So, um, because he doesn't love us anymore. Right. So I don't want them on audio versions of I don't anything. Blame him, I wouldn't either. Um. So yeah, but we. Uh, so my show is filmed, and then I just take the I can dump it onto audio real easily. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. So just you know, I'm glad you like the show, and that's going to be on iTunes for now. And um, you know, I, that's more of a quick podcast, anyways. This is a little more so due to, visual uh, and uh, more of a video thing. So due to technical difficulties. Due to Thad's jokes that draw yes. up for four minutes yeah. each, we are not allowed to make it a podcast on recording. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. Cool. Uh, J-C-A-N-I-G-S. I've been a stylist for 11 years and I'm now very interested in starting to educate. What are some of the beginning steps to take to enter into doing so? Thanks. I think that's going to, that depends on what kind of educator. I mean, yeah. There's the route of going with a company and educating for them in which you just have to talk to your sales rep because they know whatever that company's process is. Or you can just go the route if you just want to educate other people and submit to our contest Yeah. details. Yeah. Want to throw them out there again? You can do that. So um, fsetube.tv is our uh, video kind of network you can go on there and you could submit videos uh, we have a video contest that runs through the end of the year we're giving out cash prizes and uh, Mizutani scissors so uh, anybody can do that um, but I would also say from an educator standpoint and I and I did kind of touch on this this morning on on um, when I was filming this show the thing too show. but the um, when you want to be an educator I think the most important thing is that you need to be successful at whatever you're doing, whatever you want to be educating about is really hone in on that first, because I think a lot of people that you'll see um, when you start to become an educator or get into that kind of thing, what's going to make you a successful educator and help you grow in a company or by yourself is, is getting good at um, that specific thing. So whether it's haircutting or coloring or business or whatever it is, you need to become successful in the salon doing that and then transfer it into education um, so that you'll have a you'll have a head start on everyone if you're already doing something successfully. And companies are going to look at you different if you 
are, are putting yourself out there and building yourself. And then you, you go to these companies. I think now it's backwards when people want to start with no name and start with a company. I, I just think that you should build, you can build yourself up really well. Um, and then, and then go to the company with what you have as yourself. And you're going to, you're going to play a bigger role in that company, I think. So it depends on what you want. But if you want to be a platform artist, you want to be up on stage nowadays, I think um, all of us went the route of let's start at the bottom and work our way up. And unfortunately, and it's a corporate world and a corporate business. And unless you know someone or, um, or you have a big following that you've created yourself, they're not going to put you up there. Yeah. It's just not the odds are against you in that. So... Uh, the reality of it is just try to become successful in your salon, grow yourself, then go find the companies after that. And you're going to find that you'll like the work better. You can name your price and you can and uh, you can do it that way. That's what I think. Yeah. So. I mean, also, don't t take out the, the idea of becoming an educator at an institute as well. Right. Just because yeah. a lot of people like even when I was right. a teacher. I would sit there and I would go through videos to show my class and I would always fall back on you guys. But there was just certain videos I would love to show because it was a cool idea or cool concept in the title. And I'd go to preview it and watch before I showed them. And it was just a dumpster fire of a video because people don't understand how to properly get across information to others. Yeah. They think that, okay, I can do this color or this cut or this blow or this style and I'm just going to record myself doing it. But it leaves so many loopholes of why are you doing that? How are you doing that? Why are you taking right. these steps and those tools? So, I mean, if you're trying to get an education, that's always a great road to take as well because that's the road I took and Drea took. Yeah. We were both educators and in institutes and look at us now. And that's that's a good call too because if you look at – like if you're – if you want to learn to educate and maybe you're great at hair and maybe you have a big book and all that, the next step would be going into schools. I was going to say, you don't have to teach there, but going but, into a, like I went into a partner, Paul Mitchell school and taught there. And the amount of training I went through with doing certifications of not only understanding the basis of how to teach education on any level, whether yeah. it's hair related, whether it's a different industry, they break it down so simply for you. Yeah. So you can really understand how to create a class and go from there. Right. And then it goes into the basics of all the nitty gritty, teeny tiny details of hair. I mean, we could always make yeah. a video about a quick how to, how to get information across. That's not a quick how to. Yeah. It could be. <laughs> that could is be, not a quick how to. There could be a quick how to. But but in that but that so that's one avenue. But I think but what I was saying so is I think first you need to figure out how you who you want to yeah. teach. Yeah, I would go volunteer at a school, not and and not volunteer, be a guest artist yeah. at a school and practice teaching uh, the students because the students first off they're not going to have huge egos yet. Hopefully, I mean now it, it happens. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> but um, but you can go in there and you can you, you're sharing information with people that are really hungry to learn. I think that that. That works really well. I mean, you could go into an education route. If you want to be a teacher, then go that route and go to those trainings that Dre is talking about if you want to be in that part of education. But if you want to be like, if you want to be an educator and still work in a salon, right. then you just have to get out there and start teaching what you live every day and what you know um, and not like, and and practice teaching. You you need to teach a lot to, right. to get good at it, to get the rhythm of it and all of that. Yeah. I'm good with that. On point. Cool. Uh, somebody, J Vincent 612 says, how do you convince a longtime foil guest to try balayage? Uh, I, if you're having a hard time convincing them, once you find out why, I think is sort of, you know, because there's got to be some reason if you're having a hard time convincing them. And I think if you approach, if you really think they should be a balayage person, Find out what they're afraid of and then sort of steer your reasoning to knock out what they're afraid of. I have to figure this out. I feel like we get this question every week. I was going to say. And, yeah. and I don't – I have never had an issue. You also don't exactly ask. No. <laughs> yeah. We're doing this. Your guests but, also let you do whatever you want. But why you don't other don't people – But you also don't have a whole lot of foil guests. Like, I don't foil anyone. I was going to say, I don't remember the last time I saw Yeah, because as soon as I realized that hand painting could was quicker, looked um, more natural. Right. And but, I, I mean, think that those are, are the big things. Like my one guest, 
I there's probably two people that I've tried to do balayage on, and I just can't because the kind right. of blonde that they want, I can't do with balayage. But you know that, so you wouldn't want a balayage. Right, on. but I mean, right. I tried it when I first got super excited. But if you felt like everyone. they needed balayage, it wouldn't be an issue. Right, right? so if I, mean, I was trying to talk them into it, I think it'd be like, all right, how about I do just a few less foils and a couple pieces of balayage just to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. You know, we start to blend the two. Yeah. I mean, just attack it however you have to. And she's, oh, here she is. Uh, she's in a small town where people don't get what balayage is. Have pictures. Educate. Yeah. Do yeah. a mannequin. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what I did back before anyone knew what the hell ombre was. I had a mannequin in the back that had the sickest ombre I could possibly crank out with a really great blowout. And whenever I went to suggest it to someone, because to try to suggest color that has roots is a very hard concept before ombre was a thing. So showing an exact example of it, and that helped big time. So, you know, whatever. If you don't have a mannequin laying around, pick up a People magazine. Everyone's got it in there these days. That's a, this leads me to, when I saw that question come through again, I was like, maybe we need to make a video on that. The difference between what foil lo work looks like and yeah. what not for hairdressers because most of them know but for the as mask. a tool that you can use right. for someone so I think like a, a two minute yeah, video yeah just a quick like you can share this with them and it'll show the difference two quick mannequins Shotgun yeah, why don't party? you have two finished mannequins and a quick like video yeah because I mean Dre is yeah. on point with those foils I see Dre all the time rocking out foils whole heads I do do a lot of foil work she's on point she does that. a lot of foil work but my point is because she likes doing foil well, work well that's what I'm saying like she could crank out some foils or Brian just crank yeah. out some balayage and I get the I small both, town though. thing because oh, yeah, yeah, it's a completely you different you know else. it's a different mindset in a small town right uh, you know but but I think people people like new things I mean I can't imagine as long as you are explaining to them what it is do the mannequin idea and I think it I think you'll definitely yeah, yeah. I mean with that so, and if you're not doing it a ton, do the mannequin idea so that you can get enough practice so that when you talk someone into it, mm -hmm. you've got it down so that you don't ever have to be like, oh, I'm better now. Like, just <laughs> get get it down. I promise you, stop doing those foils. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You're working way too hard. Guess, like, uh, last week, she was I, I broke her from the foils and the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, someone asked if I have a video where you're blending balayage highlights with the root color as well. Not really. No, we don't have we that. We can make one. All right, that can happen. Uh, and then the last one, Rick EJJ says, I suck when using a diffuser. Any suggestions? Yes. Oh, Brian's great at this. Right. That's I, I love, love diffusing curly hair. And I think now that everyone's getting a little bit more comfortable being cameraman around here, I've got a, a few clients that, one, I approach, but she, I just haven't seen her since then about when she comes in, can I diffuse her and can we film it just to show that? Because mm -hmm. I, I love diffusing hair. So we'll do a quick video. Throw, it's it's really simple, but it's tips that you like have to follow to a T. So I rather than just like saying them now, I'd rather have a visual and something that could right. be referenced. And I think that's it. I think we pretty much nailed a ton of stuff. Yeah. Sweet. We well, and speaking of people are becoming cameraman now, Justin actually learned how to edit video today. <laughs> so, and Thad's got a pretty good hang on it too. So, um, I got here and Justin had finished a point of view haircut video. So all we have to do is voice it over, which is great. So, um, so we'll be doing that. Out. We have Took a point a of view video, uh, coming out. I came here last night and I, I filmed a haircut um, a triangular graduation haircut with layering and dry cutting. And then, uh, and Brian is going to be filming. Uh, we did Brian, makeover Brian and Andrea. Mm -hmm. Um, we filmed a, uh, step-by-step -step using, uh, Bricado cream, cream lights, um, balayage with that. So with the cream lightener, uh, those two videos are done. We just have to voice them over. So we have, quite a few oh, yeah. videos that are about to start coming out we're yeah. hitting it hard this fall so um i'm moving in I'm so definitely in basement. video requests i'd love to see that um start paying rent too do what no no i would not pay rent for a mold factory <laughs> For a what? Mullet? That factor. he's moving in. Oh, I like, I'm going to move into the basement. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> to do work, to edit videos. <laughs> Just lock him There's in. There's my rent. Yeah. 12 videos ready to go. 
Um, cool. So, yeah, so that's pretty much what's coming up. Um, there is something. I'm going to talk about it next week, though. Ooh, uh, leave it hanging. That, that I'm going to talk about that next week. And then uh, stuff. I think we just have to spin the wheel, right? All right, who's Let's our winner? Spin it. the wheel. Uh, I think we're going to go with J. Vincent 612 for today. Thank right. you guys that submitted the questions. Heck we yeah. have uh, on the new free wheel, still new, it's still shiny, <laughs> and every client in the salon asks about. Oh no, I tell them the all. Wheel. Give it a spin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So we have a pair of Mizutani scissors on there. We have Olaplex. Wait, wait. There's still a pair of scissors on that. I thing? think so. I mean, I know they gave one away, but I, I did. <laughs> I asked them. Um, <laughs> for a pair of scissors for the hundredth episode, but then there was another pair of scissors. Uh, for the free awesome. So, uh, Mizutani Scissors, Olaplex, Millennium, Amica, Parker Razor, Parker Razor, Sunlights, Donald Scott, and hope she gets Sunlights. Minerva, um, Ergo. Donald Scott products are coming in this week. They're here. So they, they, they are on the today. back porch. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Dre, I thought you got a pet duck. Because it came in a duck. Because the box feed says box. something about like it's pet, pet food, feed. and it's like <laughs> duck pet. <laughs> Duck pellets, Donald and Scott then there's like a duck. sticker on the other side of the box yeah. that says Donald Scott. We're not allowed to have a dog, so we got Hayden a duck. <laughs> um, like, my one guest, she has like four ducks. His name is Hey Duck. <laughs> so, all right, so the Donald Scott products are in, so... Shh, Dre is spinning, be quiet. Really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Premature. What yeah. happened? I wish we could instant replay that, because it's like her arm just swung up. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Minerva. Minerva Beauty. <laughs> Congratulations. That's awesome. Minerva is uh, giving away something cool. They always give away something cool. So check out MinervaBeauty.com for all your salon furniture stuff. They they gave us all these chairs, which are super affordable, by the way. Um, when I first, we had chairs. Chris, remember the chairs that we had when we first bought the salon? And none of them would pump up or do anything. The ones in the and that we didn't throw away. Yet. No, no, and no, 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 no. These are different ones than that. <laughs> yeah. Well, when we first started at the salon, not each chair didn't match. And then we got these cheap chairs that we paid the same, almost the same amount as we paid for or the the Minerva chairs, but they all matched, which was nice. But after like three months, the entire thing started leaking oil out of them. They quit pumping up, so it was kind of a nightmare. We had those for four years. And then Minerva, we got these. So um, if you guys need equipment, it's affordable. Check it out. Um, also, uh, Donald Scott, I was saying before I got... For you're so rudely. Sorry, Matt. Oh, so, sorry. So uh, it's Jay Vincent, right? Uh, email me or yes. email us. She's uh, watching right now. Contest at freesaloneducation.com. Congratulations. You're going to love your prize. Um so the Donald Scott products, so me and Christina are going to work on that. We'll get them up on the site and uh, available so you guys can uh, check them out. And we have that video from Donald Scott also coming out as well. I almost have that finished. So tons and tons of videos Actually, coming out. Actually, wait. You know what else is really cheap on the uh, Minerva Beauty page? What? A barber chair. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, Eight t-shirts. Oh, so you know, is all, has just asked, uh, what happened to the demos on updos you'd promised? True. Oh. True. Coming, uh, Soon. and also says they're coming Matt up was going with holiday hair. That's coming. Ju Justin and I are going to do some up to so Matt was not going to do braiding. What did you so, say? So a mohawk and uh, some Liberty Spike. Like the end of October, there'll be updo style and holiday hair some videos. Stuff. Yeah. Yep. Some tips. Some braiding from Matt. <laughs> yeah. If Ma Matt's don't wait around for that. that. Three, gonna be three strand. Matt's going to tie his Coming shoes at on you. camera and call that braiding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two strands. I don't even use ties on my shoes. Style. He can do a fishtail. All right. Can we get a 101. I mean, just done. Look at it. done. 101 is done. Just look 101 at it. is done. Just I can't wait for nice. 104 now. We need that. We need two of those. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. Is that nice? So be sure to check us out. Subscribe to our channel, share with your friends all of these videos, and um, more exciting stuff coming in the future. Yeah. And if you did not win, and you're, or if you did not email us, watch episode 100 again, and make all your friends watch it. Maybe they want something, because we're not going to wait forever. You have 24 hours you, okay, from right now. Hours. Oh, come on. 
They can watch this video in a week and then have 24 hours from that. <laughs> right. you, 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 you have we till 102. Have a, we should have a time frame. Justin's not yeah. going to sleep tonight until you, you know, give him that you have gonna, time frame. You know. Yeah, you have until yeah, episode 102. And they then know who they are. done. No, 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 no. Don't give him that much. Wait. How but, are you going to be? Well, they so... have to watch to see. They have to watch. No, they have to watch to see. see. I don't have to tell them I what can... they won. Well, then I they got to watch this one to know that they don't get to have their prize if it's been so. The people that well, no, the people <laughs> well, that have not. Um, just so you know, you could have won a uh, super silk, Olaplex, the J lace hat and T-shirt, Ooh. an inked magazine subscription and T-shirt, and the Parker razor and. Blades. Blades, right? Boom. So what? all of those people have not yeah, sent all the people who You better go watch. So, so you better go watch. Say, everyone Justin's who like injured really knew that they you. have to watch, watch the episode this. to <laughs> find out. I was out, very so. upset. I worked very hard to get people to get on this wheel and be I excited to give away stuff. Them free stuff. I was nice to them. I sent so many it's, emails. It's Instagram's fault because you never know where these people come from. <laughs> Wait, so... um, I slammed my keyboard so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I yelled at so many distributors. To Wait, nice all of Plex, all of them were already on the wheel already, so they knew they were giving something away. Yeah, no? but they didn't know. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, like they don't. Honestly, we could have said that we could give. I think I'm going back to the table. I can't next say week. that, but Thank why? God. why? I think I'm going back to the table and the headphones next week. I don't, I don't why? Miss the table. Since change. when do you not like change? We need to make changes. Can we have a round? Table? <laughs> you want, you want this is the second back. week we've done this. I know. What's wrong with that? So you know you don't, don't like something, you don't like it. Yeah, I, I like it. I don't know if I love it, and I, I, I need the headphones because I, yeah. I feel like the energy it just changes the energy. Are we still on? We're Justin's still live. Yeah, no. yeah. Let's say goodbye. See, now I feel so much more comfortable. All right, Justin, you're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen where his hands Come were on. before he got over there. <laughs> you're freaking me out. Hashtag stay weird. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh -huh. uh, be sure to tune in next week when everything is different. All right. Again. Bye. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.